one of the really interesting changes that we're seeing in the industry is a number of vendors, ourselves included, who are really thinking very much differently around the developer experience in an analytic solution. Um, and the result of that is that you're seeing products now incorporate low code and no code. And, and what is that? Well, uh, a low code, no code environment is somewhere where someone with um, either minimal development skills can build an analytical application by simply dragging, dropping components, or someone with more technical skills can actually code into that environment and to create workflows and to create unique analytical experiences uh, by using code and extending the core application that they started with. Um, when I think about this and I think about where it makes the most sense, uh, it's most valuable in operational analytics. Um, and the reason for that is this is I, I, you, know, you want to have people who are using analytics day to day to be able to have very well-defined workflows, not disjointed ones. So you want to be able to look at your analyses, you want to have data prompt you what to do next, and you want to be able to act on that immediately. And that's where this operational analytics and, and the low-code, no-code makes the most sense. So why would you do it? Um, you know, why would you use a, a tool like ours to build out this kind of functionality? Well, firstly, um, low-code, no-code, enables you to build apps quickly and easily. Um, it enables you to enhance those applications rapidly as well, because there's a lot you can just do with the GUI rather than having to code everything from scratch. Uh, and most importantly, it allows you to bring products to market faster. Um, and that's what everyone's looking for. That's what all of our customers want, is to, to get the benefits of these types of solutions quickly. So when you're looking for a solution like this and, and you're a developer, what are the things you need to think about? Well, firstly, uh, to what extent uh, and how quickly can you prototype? How much GUI and UI can you use to build out a prototype? And how quickly and easily can you add your code to that to build out these workflows and these experiences that you're after? Um, when you've done that, what's your ability to incrementally uh, build and maintain these solutions? You know, again, as customer needs change uh, and, work and workflows change, how quickly can you adapt these and maintain these uh, in your organization and for your product? Uh, and lastly, how easy is it to deploy these solutions uh, into the business and get use people to use them quickly? Those are the three things that you should be looking for.